Hi folks, uh, this is just a quick teardown video of the PXP3 Slim Station, which uh, you probably have seen in my previous video. Uh, and so uh, without further ado, I'll just quickly crack on and uh, we'll have a look inside this. Um, so, uh, it appears we've got eight screws here. So, this little self tappers by the likes of things. Now, while we're in, we'll hopefully have a look and see if there's any uh, obvious issue with the uh, audio-visual port, because that is not working. Uh, like I said in my previous video, the cable checks out, the continuity is good. Um, I just think it's... it's Yeah, it, it can only be in here, unless for some reason the, um, the cable itself has been uh, soldered incorrectly. Uh, oh, break the warranty seal. Ten pounds doesn't really care. Um, right, what do we see? Okay, so that came apart fairly straightforward. So what have we got? Not a lot. A um, couple of electrolytic caps, bicolor LED, tensiometer vapor resistor for the uh, um, volume. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Battery connector. Um, there's a crystal there. It, was it 27, 27 megahertz crystal there? A speaker just floating in the breeze. And, uh, you know, the USB and audio visual connectors. And, and clearly the, uh, what do you call it? Um, cartridge connector. Ah. Now that might answer my question, uh, let's say in a previous video uh, I showed you that inside these cartridges there is absolutely zero electronics uh, so looking at the cartridge connector there is only four uh, connections so what I said about modifying it so you don't need to use the cartridges and just flicking a switch that should be fairly easy to do um, I don't know if it's, I'll crack open both the cartridges and work out which ones you know are, are controlling the the menu system uh, so we've got a couple more screws in here. Now I don't know what we're going to see on the other side. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be, you know, just a a chip with a, a blob of epoxy over the top. I think at this price, it's not going to be, you know, a surface mount, uh, a surface mount package. Although it may be, you know. They are making these in bulk, so um, we'll soon find out. Oh, one more. This is where it all falls to bit, falls to bits. Yep, so we've got an LCD, and um, I just a little. Uh, flat flex cable so we'll take the display out so yeah there's a the display um, doesn't look like it's good at its own driver yeah driver's probably going to be on the um, on the board itself nothing much to say about that other than it is seem to be iFolks back again sorry about that I had to change the SD card in the camera um, yeah I was just saying the uh, LCD it's, uh, itself is is fairly good quality. The as in the image it displays is good quality. Um, but yeah, what the uh, SD charging incident allowed me to do was Google the part numbers on here. A part number. Um, I was correct in saying that the only well not the only but one of the semiconductors, the driver display circuit, is clearly under this uh, blob of epoxy, which which looks like it's had some sort of repair because that looks like it's been painted on after because this is nice and matte and this is a semi gloss uh, on there as if it's been painted over the top so I don't know what that's all about but yeah we can see from from the uh, track layout on here the um, oops excuse me turn that multimeter off um, you can see the, the uh, tracks from this uh, circuit under here integrated circuit under here is going straight to the um, uh, LCD connector. Uh, but the brain of this thing is actually an Intel chip. Um, let's see if I can focus that for you. Yep, 6600M0Y0UE. 
uh, Intel uh, so integrated circuit. Um, I can't get any information online about it really. Um, most of the uh, websites are Chinese and the only data sheet I can get on it, I'm going to have to pay for it. So I'm, I'm not going to do that, uh, obviously, because um, it's probably cost the same for the data sheet as the whole damn thing cost. Um, but there's very, very little else on here. Quite a few uh, zero ohm resistors, you know, links, a uh, few, you know, passive components, and and that's pretty much it. Um, also, uh, whilst I was changing the SD card, I just did a quick check on the, um, uh, what do you call it, the audio visual connector, um, and there is no shorts or anything on there. I did initially think there was a potential uh, for a short here. Um, but it looks like it's, you know, it, they're on the same, uh, you know, they are connected, although they're separate, if that makes sense. Uh, and the cable, again, continuing the cable, there, there's no shots in the cable. Once it's plugged in, you know, I'm getting, you know, both grounds are, are, are connected and there's no shot across the, the signals. So I think it's just a duff board, this one, and obviously... Um, there's nothing I can really do about that. Um, just having a quick look and see if there's any questionable joints on actual brains of the thing. Um, it doesn't appear to be. No. Um, this has clearly been hand soldered on. There's loads of flux residue and stuff, and uh, nothing else really. It does look like they've had a good clean up of the um a clean up of the um sort of contacts for the uh, switches though. So I don't know whether um the solder mask was applied and they've had to take that off, but uh, it does look a bit, you know, scratched and, and such like. But uh yeah, so that's inside it. Um I shall put it back together and see if it works again. Hopefully it will. Um, in fact, we'll do that just now. Just uh, shouldn't take too long. Um, so I think, yeah, this one, I'm just going to have to resign myself to the fact that it can only be used as a handheld. And, uh, you know, I may, I may purchase another one. If they turn out to be quite good, uh, yeah, I might get another one. And hopefully that one will work um, on the uh, using the AV cable. Right, so... Try not to disturb the, the buttons. The LCD should just drop in there. And hopefully that should all just sit in place. Can't really turn it around. Yeah, the LCD looks like it's located. <coughs> so I think overall, um, yeah, I'm fairly pleased with this. It's, it's quite a good little quite a good little bit of kit really for the price um, only time will tell I should have another <coughs> excuse me a uh, couple of Amigas coming as well uh, chap I know lives local to me uh, saw one of my videos and said oh I've got a couple of Amigas uh, you can have if you want so I've got a 600 and a 1200 coming I think uh, we will We'll see what that's like when it comes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, last screw going in here. Let's just make sure they all feel right. Yep, yeah, that f all feels good, and we'll put the back cover on now. <coughs> Fairly straight, uh, straightforward construction. This really, um, it's obviously built to a price. Clearly, and I'll just back up screws in here and then we'll, we'll make sure it's working. Yeah, 
There we go. Bubble was nice there. Ah, oh, yeah, this is. Anyway, I won't bore you anymore with this. So there we go, guys. That's the uh, PSP X3 quick uh, teardown for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you want. See you next time. Bye-bye.